All right, good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker Online class. Today we'll be talking about differentiation and um, in differentiation you need to know these standard derivatives. Once you know these standard derivatives, then you can solve any question in differentiation. It's as good as in indices, you need to know the laws of indices. Okay, so the first one said, let, I will explain all of them. The first one said that in differentiation that if y, this one said that if y is a function of x, means that y depends on x. That is why I'm having the y dx. In the y dx, you see that y is 1 up, x is 1 down. And if I'm carrying you on my head, you are depending on me. So that is why we say that y is the what? The dependent variable. Y is the x is the what? The independent variable. It's not depending on anybody. So which means if y increases, if x increases, y will increase. If x decreases, y will decrease. It's as good as... Um, if I have uh, 20 subscribers and you to pay me 10k, if I have 40 subscribers, they have to pay me 20k. Yes. So which means uh, my subscriber is dependent on what? Sorry, the amount they pay me is dependent on the subscribers I have. So the subscribers are now the independent variable. The amount they pay me is the dependent uh, variable. So the first one said that that if y is equal to what? A raised to power n. Okay, something like this is a polynomial. Okay, so how do you get dy dx? dy dx, dy dx should be equal to what? Differentiation is simply multiply by the power and remove one from the power. That's all. Multiply by the power and remove one from the power. So what do I have? This time this, I'm having a n, I have multiplied by the power. Then I have to remove one from the power. S is for n minus 1. That's all. An example to that said, if y is equal to 4x raised to power 5, for instance, dy dx should be what? Multiply by the power first. 5 times 4, 20. Then remove 1 from the power. I'm having x raised to power 4. As simple as that. If I have y is equal to minus 3, x raised to power maybe minus 5. What do you do? dy dx is simply what? Multiply by the power. Minus 3 times minus 5 will give you 15. Because minus minus is plus. Remove 1 from the power. x raised to power. Minus 5 minus 1 will give you minus 6. You see, as simple as that. So the next one said, if y is equal to 1 over x, you know, the differentiation of lin x is 1 over x. But the differentiation of 1 over x is, remember that in this is, this is raised to power 1. Okay? So I'm going to have x raised to power minus 1. Okay? To remove 1 over, if you remember in this is. So let's apply the law. dy dx said, multiply by the power, which is, Minus 1 times, then remove 1 from the power, minus 1 minus 1, which is what? Minus x raised to power minus 2. And to remove the minus again, it will be 1 over. So I'm having minus 1 over x raised to power 2. So you understand? So differentiation, so that, and that is the, the normal differentiation. You simply multiply by the power and remove 1 from the power. Okay? So the next one, we are going to do number 2. Number two said that if y is equal to ax, okay, if y is equal to ax, so what do you do? If y is equal to ax, now it does not have any power. There is no power here. They say that it's simply that the y dx is simply the coefficient here, a. We can try it. y is equal to ax. ax means raised to power 1 here. And the precision said, the y dx say what? Multiply by the power, which is what? 1 times everything. Then remove 1 from the power, 1 minus 1, which is what? 1 times a, x to the power 0. And x to the power 0 is 1. 1 times a times 1, which will give you what? a. So the representation of anything that does not have power is just the coefficient. So if I have that y is equal to 1000x, dy dx is simply 1000. There's nothing to solve. Okay? If I have that um, y is equal to minus 1, uh, minus 3, over 5x, there is no power here. dy dx is simply what? Minus 3 over 5. There is nothing to solve. So that is the one you need to know. Okay, the next one, number 3, this is number 2. So for number 3, number 3 said that if, that if y is equal to x, there is no power, there is no coefficient. That dy dx is simply the coefficient here. The coefficient here is what? 1. Okay, that is that. So it's as good as the other one I just did. So the next one, number four, said that if y is now a constant, there is no variable. 
so that the differentiation of any constant is zero. Let us check it. Y is equal to what? A x raised to the power of zero. Am I correct? Because x raised to the power of zero is what? One. This time this is still a. So let us find the y the s. The y the s says multiply by the power, which is zero times everything. Then you subtract from the power. And zero times everything is zero. You don't need to solve anything. So the depreciation of any constant without a variable is what? Is zero. So what do we do? Look at an example to that. An example. Example said, if y is equal to minus 3 over 2, there is no variable. Then we should find the y dx. The y dx is simply 0. Now, be very careful. Look at this one. If y is equal to 3x squared, watch you. Then I said, find, find dy dt. Now, the variable here, the independent variable here is t. And no longer x. And there is no t here, which means everything here is a constant. So dy dt is zero. Do you get it now? So it's not always dy dx, dy dx. So it depends on, from here, you will know the one that is the dependent variable and the one that is the independent variable. Okay? So that is that. It's as good as saying, if y is equal to 3x uh, squared plus 2t, and then I say find dy dt, uh, dz, sorry, dy dz. Is there any z here? No. So everything there is a constant. So my answer is what? Zero. So the depreciation of any constant is zero. So constant does not necessarily mean that it must be a number. Uh -huh. So the next one is that the depreciation of exponential x is exponential x. It does not change. You need to know that why it doesn't change. Okay. Then number six. Number six said that if y is equal to a raised to power x, that we should find dy dx. A constant is now raised to power x. Initially, we used to have the variable raised to power any constant. But now it's not the constant raised to power the variable. What do you do? Repeat it. A raised to power x. Then just put it in that constant. That's all. You see, it's very simple. Uh -huh. So which means if y is equal to uh, uh, 2 raised to power x, for instance, a constant has a raised to power. So dy dx is simply repeat it 2 raised to power x. Then lean that constant too. And don't forget that lean means log. Lean means log, which is what? This is, uh, sorry, let me review this. Now, okay, so what do I have now? Now, this is then as saying a raised to power x log that a, but you have e here as the base. So log with base e means lane, please. Log with base e means what lane? So this one can be equally be written as what? Repeat this one, 2 raised to power x log what? Log 2, then put your e as the base, okay? It's as, that is that. Okay, the next thing you need to know, uh, maybe y is equal to... Um, 3 over 2, all raised to power x. So dy dx is what? That 3 over 2 raised to power what? x. Lane, that 3 over 2. Or you say 3 over 2 raised to power x. Log, that 3 over 2. Then put base e. They are the same thing. Okay, so number 7. Number 7 said that lean x. The differentiation of lean x is 1 over x, please. The position of lean x is 1 over x. So if y is equal to lean x, the answer is just dy dx is simply what? 1 over x. Sometimes they will not write it this way. They write, if y is equal to log x, then you now have e here. Log with base e means lean. So the answer is still 1 over x. Sorry. The dy dx of it is still 1 over x, please. So you need to go down. There are some you need to, to should I say, cram or memorize. Like this one, e raised to power x, e raised to power x doesn't change. Then x is 1 over x. Sine x is cos x, but cos x is now minus sine x. This one, you need to know it, you need to cram it. Tan x is sec squared x. Though we are going to prove this one when we get to quotient rule. Cos x is minus cos x squared x. Uh -huh. Sec x is, repeat that sec x, then tan x, because tan x gave us sec squared x. So the position of sec x is repeat the sec x, then put an x. Therefore, cosec, cosec x is what? Repeat the cosec x, but they will be minus. 
minus cos x s cos x because this gave us this. So the next one is what sin s is cos x and cos x is sin. The difference between this one and this one is that in cos x is minus sin x, but cos x is sin sin x without the minus. So all these ones are just you need to know it. You need to just memorize it and maybe cram it if possible. There's some of these I'm going to prove it for you when we enter. Uh, maybe chain rule and uh, all these rules in um, in differentiation. Okay, so example before we go to the rules. Example, example, if y is equal to um, minus 3x to the power 4 plus 6x to the power 3 uh, minus 2 over 3 x to the power sorry, minus 3 over sorry, minus uh, um, 1 over 2 x raised to the power 2, okay, uh, minus cos x plus sine x minus 4 e raised to the power 3, uh, e raised to the power x uh, plus 6 lin x uh, minus 2 raised to the power x, okay. All these things, they now say find dy dx. It's very simple. <laughs> Though it's long, but it's very simple. So what do you see? dy dx is equal to, don't forget that anyone like this is what? Multiply by the power and remove one from the power. As simple as that. 4 times this, I'm having what? Minus 12x to the power. If I remove one here, I'm having 3. Okay? Plus, this times this, I'm having what? 18x to the power what? 2. Okay? This times this, 2 will divide 2, which will give you 1. So I'm having minus x to the power 2 minus 1, 1. Multiply by the power and remove one from the power. Now, there is a minus here first. Differentiation of cos is minus sign. Is minus sign. So, both of them now will not, make, will not change this place to be plus. Okay? Uh -huh. So, differentiation of uh, sign is just cos. Okay? Now, differentiation of e raised to power s is e raised to power s. The 4 should be there. Then e raised to power s. It doesn't change. Then next one plus 6 is already there. The position of lin x is what? 1 over x. So 6 times 1. So this one will not change as well. 6 over x. Okay? Then minus. The position of a constant with raised power x is what? Repeat it through raised power x. Then put what? Lin that uh, 2. Or you change it to what? Log 2 base e. Anyone you like. Okay? That is that for that. I think with this, it can help you. A law. Let's go into the laws or the rules that are guiding um, differentiation. Rules in differentiation. Okay. The first rule we are going to talk about is number one is a function of a function. Function of a function. Also known as the chain rule. The chain rule is what we are going to apply in function of a function. Now, uh, this one says that if I have that um, that y that y is equal to uh, a function of uh, u, and that u is a function of x, okay? Then we need to find we need to find uh, find dy dx. Okay, let me explain what we mean by that. These two will give me dy du. If I differentiate these two, I'm going to have du dx. So to find the dy dx, I'm looking for is simply to multiply these two things, which is what dy du times du dx dx. You see that if du cancel du, I'm getting back my dy dx. So this is the formula for chain rule. This is the formula for chain rule. But the shortcut of the formula, the shortcut of the formula said, differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything. You need to do it. Differentiate, differentiate the bracket, comma, or times, times, or comma, times, differentiate everything. Differentiate everything. I will show you how to use it. If you can say it, you can use it. Differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything. Differentiate the bracket, differentiate everything. So let's solve questions so you understand what I mean by that. Okay, 
The first question we are going to solve is that if y is equal to 3x squared plus 2, all raised to power 4, then I say find dy dx. Okay, so let's go. The first thing you do, you say, let u be the one in this bracket now. Then I say, let u be equal to what? 3x squared plus 2. Now, since I have called this man u, to write my y, y will not be what? Change this one to what? u raised to power what? 4. Once you have done this thing, you are done. To do this too, you are going to have what? du dx. So du dx is equal to multiply by the power, which is what? 4x. Remove one from the power. You have 4x. Plus, the precision of a constant is 0. So this is done. Now, this one, I'm going to have what? dy du. dy du, which is what? Multiply by the power. 4u. Remove one from the power. Raise to the power 3. So, so my dy dx is simply to multiply the two of them, which is du dx times dy du. So that du cancel du, I'm getting back my dy dx. So my answer is now what? I've gotten this one to be 4x times what? 4u raised to power 3, which is what? This times this, 16x u raised to power 3. Now put back what your u is, 16x bracket. My u is 3x squared plus 2, all raised to power 4, that's all, sorry, all raised to power this 3, all raised to power this 3, okay, that's all, now, this is the normal method, but for objective, objective sake, if I have that y is equal to 3 x raised to power 4, plus 2, sorry, 3 x raised to power 2, all raised to power 4, now, I see that the shortcut said, differentiate the bracket, then differentiate everything, so my answer, dy dx, is simply, differentiate this bracket, I'm going to have 6x, because the position of this one is 0, times, differentiating everything means differentiating something that has raised to power 4. So what you do when you are differentiating something that has raised to power 4, what you do, you multiply by the power, which is 4 bracket, that's 3x squared plus 2, then remove 1 from the power, 4 minus 1. I get it. So my answer becomes this time this, 24 how did I get a... Sorry, it's a mistake here. 2 times this is 6 and not 4, please. 3 times 2 is 6. So here is 6. 6 and I'm going to have 24. That's a mistake, sorry. So 24. Uh -huh. So I'm going to have 24x. Then bring down this one. 3x squared plus 2. All raised power. This minus this 3. You see, we got the same answer. So differentiate the bracket. Differentiate everything. So the second one, don't worry, the more we solve question, the more you, you understand. The next one I'm going to solve is, um, let's look at logarithm. Uh, let's look at uh, exponential. If y is equal to 4 e raised to power, maybe uh, sine x, for instance. Now, this one now has bracket. Anything on top here, if it's no longer x, call it the bracket and call it the u. Okay, so let u be the bracket here. So you say let u be equal 